Hello, everyone. I'm Laura Dorsey, and I'm with Infinite Scholars. Infinite Scholars does one thing, we do one thing well. We help send high school students to college. We do this with our network of over 400 colleges and universities that partner with us on our endeavors. One of the main things that we do is that we facilitate scholarship fairs, and we facilitate these scholarship fairs in 27 cities across the country. When we facilitate a scholarship fair, we have between 50 and 100 of our premier partners attending the scholarship fair with us. At any scholarship fair that we have in the area, we always have Clarion University of Pennsylvania attending with us. Let me tell you a little bit about Clarion University, and then I'm going to have them come on and tell you a little bit more about that. Clarion University of Pennsylvania is located three miles from Interstate 80 in Northwestern Pennsylvania. Clarion is suited, situated between Pittsburgh and Erie and is, is a beautiful university town of 6,000 residents. Clarion University has 4,500 students enrolled, an average class size of 25, which gives you a student to teacher ratio of 16 to one. Clarion University offers over 175 academic degree programs with high impact practices embedded in the curriculum and 100% of the classes taught by faculty. The top five most popular majors are biology, business, education, nursing, and speech pathology. Top five unique majors are medical imaging, respiratory care, intervention specialists, paralegal studies, and library science. A couple of updates. Two new suite style residence hall containing a Starbucks and a movie theater. And, and there's a new university president as of July 1, 2018, and a $40 million worth of renovations to the Tippin Gymnasium. As a public university and a member of Pennsylvania State System of Higher Education, Clarion offers quality and affordability. Clarion awards more than $5 million in scholarship last year and was cited as top 10 most affordable school in Pennsylvania by Affordable Schools 2019. Today, to give us even more detailed information about Clarion is the Assistant Director of Admissions, Jarrett Coleman Boxley, will be our presenter. He is a proud 2016 Clarion University graduate from New Kensington, Pennsylvania, and he has been working in higher ed for TAD over four years. Jarrett, thank you so much for being here and providing our students and parents with information that they need in order to be successful. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for the introduction. Uh, phenomenal. Thank you guys for having me. To get started, uh, let us move to the PowerPoint here. Okay. All right. Uh, so once again, everyone, uh, thank you for uh, looking into Clarion University today. Um, to officially get started, Clarion University of Pennsylvania is one of the 14 Pennsylvania state schools. Um, to be a Pennsylvania state school, that typically means two things. Number one, state schools are the most affordable option for a PA resident to receive a four-year bachelor's degree. Uh, but we're also affordable to a lot of out-of-state options as well, which you'll see when we move along and get to cost. The second very important thing to keep in mind is that we all have nearly 100 programs. So a lot of different academic options uh, for students to look into. So to officially begin. So who is Clarion? So Clarion, I already mentioned this as a state school. For us, we have around 4,500 students. Our average class size, uh, we'll get to that a little bit later, but out of the 4,500 students that we do have, we, they come from four different campuses. So the Clarion University campus located in Clarion, PA, that is our main campus. That is where majority of our programs are held. So most of our bachelor's degree programs are gonna be held there. We do have a few associates um, programs that are held there as well. And it's where our doctorate programs are held. Uh, for us, we do have the doctorate, which is in nursing. As for our Venango campus, our Venango campus help, holds a lot of associate degree options. They do have an associate's degree and a bachelor's degree though in respiratory care, an associate's degree in nursing, and then an associate's degree in rehab science. Our Somerset campus, that holds our a another ASN option, so an associate's degree of science and nursing, and then we have our Clarion Online. We have a number of programs that can be completed 100% online, 
um, from some different business options to some different social sciences and others as well. And then you can see our freshman profile where we have our average student. All right. For more about Clarion, so for us, once again, our average class size is 25. Our student faculty ratio is 16 to 1. 90% of our faculty members uh, have received their terminal degree, which is just saying that 90% of the, our faculty have the highest degree possible in their area of study. So you're learning from the best of the best. We don't have GAs teach classes or graduate assistants. Uh, although Jarrett has been in school and college, it seems like for a while, um, after receiving my bachelor's degree and pursuing my master's degree, I don't teach classes either. Um, but again, you're truly learning from the best of the best. And then with the nationally accredited programs, that's more than any other state school. So we always put this number out there um, for students to know that at Clarion, we truly care about you not only receiving an education, uh, but receiving a, edu a program, receiving a quality education um, from faculty members who continue to put in work uh, year after year. Now, the next few slides are gonna break down different areas of studies. Uh, so for this first slide, uh, the College in Arts and Sciences. This is our largest college here at Clarion University where a lot of programs uh, fall into this area. So if you are a student who's maybe interested in turning your creativity or your persuasion uh, skills or your artistic abilities into a career, you might wanna look into this college to our music options um, or uh, major in our art programs, uh, whether BA, BFA, look into English, uh, look into theater and a wide variety of other options. Um, if you wanna be a part of a program or a major that can make you know, an impact um, in the world around you, um, you know, make social change, you might wanna look into some social sciences, some criminal justice, some uh, political science, anthropology, sociology, and others. Uh, and then if you're that student who wants to conduct research, whether being in the lab or out in the field, um, we have, of course, options such as biology, chemistry, math, actuarial science, physics, um, astrophysics, and a bunch of other science and math related options as well. For us in business, um, business tends to be one of our big three areas that a lot of students look into. Uh, one of the big things to keep in mind about our business program is that we have one of the top tier uh, accreditations um, both nationally and internationally. Uh, the AACSB accreditation it stands for the Association to Advance Collegiate Schools of Business. Uh, schools that have said accreditation fall in the top five to 10% of business schools in the nation and internationally. A lot of big name schools do have this accreditation, um, some in PA, some out of state as well. But for us, we're proud to say we're only one of six Pennsylvania state schools that do have this accreditation. Um, so it's definitely something you know, that we pride ourselves on. The 96% job placement rate, um, that covers the entire College of Business as a whole. We do have a number of programs that tend to be higher than that 96%. Um, and within our College of Business, we have a lot of options where you're able to dual major um, or maybe pick up a major and a minor and still graduate within your four year period for no additional time, no additional money. Um, marketing and management go well together. Finance and accounting go well together. Um, economics tends to work friendly with a lot of business options. We have computer science and criminal justice, excuse me, computer science and information systems, which work well together. Um, and then from this program, there are options. You can do a master's degree option for us in our MBA. You can look into our master's degree option in data analytics. Um, and again, we have a number of other business options as well listed below. For us in our College of Health, sciences and human services. Uh, while we do have a lot of our popular options fall in this area category as well, we have nursing. Um, nursing, we have it at all five levels. So we have an associate's degree in nursing, a bachelor's degree, an R into BSN, a master's degree option, and a doctorate, all at Clarion. Um, we have athletic training, nutrition and fitness, speech pathology, speech pathology being at the undergrad and the graduate level. Um, we have a five-year accelerated option if you wanna pursue the speech path. Um, program um, for select students. Um, and then we also have other programs. Um, we have some that can be completed online. If you want that rehab science that I mentioned earlier, or if you want nursing, we can do that. Um, but again, majority of these programs listed below, criminal justice as well, um, are going to be held at the Clarion main campus in Clarion, Pennsylvania. For our School of Education, we have early childhood, uh, allows you to teach pre-K through four. We have mid-level, four through eight, grades four through eight. We have uh, secondary as well, special education by itself, 
and a lot of other options that you can see below, wide variety of concentrations if you want to focus on science or math or history, aka social studies and more. Um, the big thing to keep in mind with our School of Education is you're going to come in and you're going to get the hands-on experience um, really very early on in your four-year journey. So you are going to have those opportunities to um, go through block and student teaching. So block is where you're in the classroom and you're observing another teacher. Um, and then student teaching is where you're in the classroom teaching and another student observes you. Uh, we try to keep a lot of our students close uh, to the Clarion University's campus. We have a lot of um, elementary schools, middle schools, high schools within the area, uh, which is where we try to let our students go for student teaching. Uh, but honestly, we have some students who even go outside of that uh, local area as well. And we can do that for those who are interested, if you are interested in becoming a teacher. As for things that kind of get us away from academic programs, uh, our honors program. So if you're a student who has above a 3.64 GPA, a 1220 SAT score, or a 2526 ACT, um, then you can qualify for our honors program. Our honors program, a lot of benefits um, from the networking opportunities to the research opportunities to um, just really just being around like-minded individuals. We have housing a housing option where if you want to live with all honor students, you're able to do that as well. Um, just truly something to you know take advantage of. Uh, scholarship opportunities that tends to be you know a big reason as well. But uh, again, if you meet those numbers, that's definitely something you're able to look into whenever you uh, go and complete our application. Okay. For study abroad research and internships, we consider these as higher impact practices um, where 87% of our students uh, participate in at least one of the three. For study abroad, uh, you can go to really any continent you want, uh, aside from Antarctica. Uh, that's the one where we don't have affiliations with. Uh, but if you want to go to Europe and take classes or Africa or South America or what have you, then you are able to do so. For study abroad, students typically uh, choose a study abroad option from two weeks to a semester to a full year. We do have a study abroad office. It's in our one-stop shop building known as Beck Hall. Um, it's where my office is. It's where our health center is. It's where our study abroad office, as I said, um, career services, if you need help writing a resume, uh, internship, or help finding internships, financial aids there, all of it's there. Um, in that building, you can find study abroad, um, go through the paperwork, look into different options that we have as affiliations, and then you'll be all set. Um, the research and internships, those can depend um, on your program. For a lot of programs, we already have them built in uh, to your degree audit. Um, for education, as I mentioned, you have block and student teaching. If you want to be a nurse, uh, pursue nursing, we have you go through multiple hospital rotations, whether it's peds with babies or trauma or med surgery or uh, geriatric or a psych uh, rotation. You're going to go through these rotations and those are what are considered internships, okay? Um, so that is that. For housing, we have all suite style housing, uh, which means the options are very new and very nice. Um, the oldest housing option that our current incoming freshmen can live in, it was built in 2009. So again, very new, very nice. There's a Starbucks, as you already heard, in one of the buildings, a university bookstore, university movie theater, truly nice options. You can live with um, someone that you know, if you know someone from your high school who wants to you know, look into Clary, you guys want a room together, we can make that happen. If you want a room with like-minded individuals like yourselves, we do have what are called LLCs, which are living and learning communities. Um, so this is where if you want to live with people who are um, fit, who like to be outdoors, who are of a same major, who, you know, again, like-minded individuals like yourself, if you want a room with or be on a floor with those people, you're able to do so. Um, also with our housing, it's important to mention the security that we have all throughout our housing options. Um, a lot of them are key card activated where you need to use your student ID in order to get you into the building. It's just a safety feature. Um, and then we also, going on with safety, we also have text alerts where if you uh, want to know what's going on around the campus, if parents want to know what's happening while the student is away getting an education, um, you know, anyone is able to sign up for those and just receive alerts that way. Um, and then again, there are a number of amenities also within the building um, to look into um, aside from the ones that I already mentioned. Okay, for sports. Uh, for us, we're Division II in all sports. Um, you can see the sports listed across the top, uh, the men's sports and the women's sports. We're D2 in all sports except men's wrestling where we are Division I. 
So division one, division two, um, two things to kind of keep in mind there. One, possibility of scholarship money. Uh, and two, that we have what's called a recruit me form on our website. So the recruit me form, very easy. All you do is go to clarion.edu, click on the athletics tab, click on inside athletics, click on the sport that you are interested in, and then you fill out the form. The form allows you to put in your high school schedule, put in any uh, highlight tapes that you may have, um, ask you, you know, your name, your address, general information, and then that goes directly to our athletic coaches. So that's one of the best ways uh, to get in, on a coach's radar. If you are a rising junior, rising senior, even a rising sophomore, um, you know, feel free. You can always go take advantage of that. And then you can always edit your profile as time moves along. Now, outside of the Division I, Division II sports, we also have club sports. Club sports are going to include the things like rugby, equestrian team, ultimate frisbee. We then have other areas uh, that kind of don't really have a category to them, such as cheerleading and marching band. Uh, fun fact, marching band is one where if you are interested in marching band, color guard included, uh, there's a scholarship that comes with it. Um, so, and that marching band slash color guard would count as your gym class. So again, some benefits there, but, um, and then cheerleading as well. And then last but not least, we also have intramurals. Intramurals are really just students being able to compete against other Clary University students within our rec center. So again, we do have a gymnasium where the athletes participate, very new $40 million renovation to it. Um, you can check that out on our virtual tour. If you just go to clarion.edu slash virtual tour, you can see that. Uh, but then we do have the rec center as well. Uh, for additional things that you can participate in outside the classroom, uh, while we do have over 140 different student organizations, I can honestly say anything and everything that you did in high school, we have that as well, okay? Um, if you want to get involved in student senate, you can do it. If you want to do student... Um, I don't know. If you want to do a fraternity or sorority, you can do that as well. If you want to join something for, uh, related to your major, you can. Very simple. Uh, but if you also want to maybe join something that has nothing to do with your major, but you did it in high school, say you're a nursing major, but you still want to join the theater productions or participate in the theater productions, you're able to do so as well. So for us, wide variety of organizations you're able to look into. One that I'll talk about now would be the University Activities Board. They do a lot of planning for the university. Um, we have what's called a Campus Fest that takes place every spring. Uh, campus Fest is our big concert where students somewhat have a say on who they want to come to campus. Um, and we, we bring in different genres every single year. So one year it might be, you know, country music. The next year it could be R&B and, you know, hip hop. Um, and it's a free concert for all students. Uh, so something to take advantage of there. Another thing at Clarion, we have what's called Autumn Leaf Festival. Um, it is during our homecoming week. It's our fall festival, nine days long. One of the Fridays, students get off of classes, and it's where they have carnival rides set up, food vendors, craft vendors, um, the whole street's blocked off. Truly the best time to be in Clarion. It's where you can get the best fried Oreos and fried pickles ever. Trust me on it. Um, again, wonderful time. And then the last thing that I'll mention while I mentioned uh, the big concert that takes place at the towards the end of the spring semester, we also have something called EFSN, which stands for every Friday and Saturday night. And those are for smaller events, but they take place multiple times throughout the week. All right. One of the more popular events that takes place at Clarion through that EFSN would be Wingo, uh, hosted by Student Senate. Uh, that is where you eat wings and play bingo at the same time for free prizes. Um, such as iPads, TVs, Keurigs, gaming systems, and more. And although you are most likely those viewing are not in college, um, for those who are viewing who have been in college, you will know that free food and free prizes, you can't beat it whenever you get to college. So something to look out for there. Now I tell you all these great things, but then I don't bring up cost. So for us in cost, as mentioned, very affordable option is a Pennsylvania State School. Our total cost you can see on the left side is for in-state on the right side is for out-of-state. So going on the left side, I'll focus on that. The left side, the tuition and fees. So tuition, of course, is you taking your classes. Fees are things that do services that do not cost you money at the door, but there are services that you're able to take advantage of. For example, one would be tutoring. You can go and receive tutoring one time or 50 times throughout your four-year journey at Clarion, and it doesn't cost you any additional money, okay? Another one to think about would be uh, taking advantage of our campus shuttles. We do have two university busing units. One is the mall bus, one is the campus bus. They both operate six out of seven days throughout the week. Um, so every day but Sunday. 
and they take you to Walmart, Aldi's, Applebee's, the hospital sheets, JC Penney's, all around the town of Clarion, and they are free to ride. So again, another service you don't have to pay money for. You just show your student ID when you get on the bus, get off whenever you need to, okay? However, though, if you do want to bring a vehicle to campus as a freshman, you are able to do so. Uh, the cost for that will be $75 a semester, $150 for a year, and you have multiple lots that you would be able to park in. Moving on, though. So tuition, fees, covered both. Room and board and meal plans. I mentioned for room and board, we have all suite style housing. So this is for our most traditional housing option, okay? We do have multiple level, uh, multiple options. You can live in a four person uh, where you are with you and one other person in a the bedroom itself, bathroom is in the bedroom. You have a bed, desk, dresser, all that that comes within your room. You share a living room with the total of four people you included. And then you have the other two people living off into the other room with the same stuff that you have. We then have a two person option uh, where we have an option where you can live by yourself. We have an option where you can live with a roommate, but have your own bedroom completely. So a lot of different options and those can change your rooming cost. And then for meal plan options, traditionally the average student aims for something around 14 to 19 meals a week, um, and which includes $250 in flex. Flex dollars can be used at little side options, cafes, the Starbucks that I mentioned, things like that. Um, but that will get you to your total of just a tad over $23,000 per year. And then as for scholarships to lower that cost, um, while SATs and College Board and things like that might be up in the air due to COVID, for us, we always have been a school that cares more about your GPA anyway. So the higher up your GPA goes, the more money we're able to offer you. Traditionally, for us, we look at if you have a, a, a 2.75 and a 950 SAT score, you're going to be eligible for scholarship funds. Now, once again, the higher up you go, more money we're able to offer you, especially if you go increase that GPA section. Um, ideally, um, if you can get to that 3.64, 1220 SAT, or 25, 26 ACT, that's for honors. Um, but again, if you fall into one of the categories, you can anticipate a scholarship for clarity. All right, as for applying. Um, so we, our application is open for the class of 2021. We'll be starting in August of 2021. Um, all you have to do is go online, um, search our online application, very simple. Um, so you can apply whenever you want. We will of course take your transcript and test scores. Now with test scores, if you have not taken the ACTs or SATs yet due to COVID, you are able to still apply, submit your transcripts. We can review your application, but whenever it comes to finding out about scholarship offers that you would receive through Clarion, we would then need your SAT scores and ACT scores at that time. So you are able to apply, send in your transcript without test scores at this time. However, again, looking into scholarships, which would typically come later anyway, we would need SAT scores or ACT scores on file. If you were interested in nursing, traditionally the, the, the BSN option, um, so the four-year option at the Clarion campus, there is a deadline to have everything turned in, so like your application deadline, and that is December 15th, 2020. So again, um, it's a few months from now. So even though, yes, you might not start till August 2021, your application deadline will be December 15th. That doesn't mean you need to decide on Clarion by December 15th. You just need to have all the paperwork and stuff turned in. And then for college transcripts, um, if you are a student who has taken any AP test um, and scored a three or higher, just know that we look to hopefully transfer that into Clarion. If you have done uh, dual enrollment through um, your high school with a local community college, with an established four-year, two-year, you know, public or private institution, um, then we look to um, take those credits as well if you score or receive, excuse me, a C or higher. Um, and then if you are looking to transfer, um, if you look to transfer with your application, we would just need your college transcripts, and then we will provide a transfer evaluation um, from there. And the last thing, I didn't mention this uh, before, um, for nursing, um, the minimum requirements uh, criteria you can see below. So the 3.0 GPA, 950 SAT score, 18 ACT, and again, that is for our BSN program, the four-year program when it comes to nursing. As we finish up, uh, of course, you can apply to Clarion online. Um, we would love to definitely see you um, apply. Uh, we can review your application at that time. You can reach out to me if you have any questions on your application. Once you know that Clarion is the school for you, we would then encourage you to submit your $100 admissions deposit. This is securing your spot at Clarion for the class that you would be incoming. Um, and then after that is done, you're able to do sign up for housing. 
uh, for us. Um, I told you very nice housing options, $200 um, housing deposit to handle that. Um, and then we do have a few other next steps for, to come, but these would be your next three um, as you look closer into Clarion. And then last but not least, that is me with a haircut before COVID. Uh, so once again, Jared Boxley, um, I work in the Clarion University undergrad admissions office. Uh, below you can see their mailing address um, in case you wanna mail any documents into them. Um, if you wanna visit campus, whether it's a drive-by or you wanna set up an appointment, um, you can see our GPS address as well. And then my contact information a little further down. So jboxley at clarion.edu is how you can reach me. Uh, my work cell phone number is listed as well. So that is the 814-227-8838 number. Um, again, feel free to call, text, any way, best way to get in touch with me. Um, our website, clarion.edu, and then our virtual tour, as I mentioned, the clarion.edu slash virtual tour. Um, so once again, thank you guys uh, for listening to me today. Um, hopefully you learned a little bit of something. And again, if you need anything, please do not hesitate to reach out at any time. Jared, thank you so much for providing all of that information to us. I have a couple of follow-up questions for you, if you don't mind. Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. Um, okay, nice before and after picture. Okay, I really <laughs> like, like that. Okay. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, so we're taking a look at the applications. I noticed that, um, and if I miss it in the presentation, like, forgive me. I noticed that, like, the nursing school has a deadline. But for the rest of the university, is there a deadline for applications? I know because of what's going on, some schools are doing rolling admissions dates and deadlines or whatever. What is Clarion doing? That's a great question. So we are rolling admission and we were rolling admission prior to COVID. So what that means is you can turn in your application at any point in time throughout your college search. Uh, we don't recommend turning it in in the month of August as you were trying to start in August. Obviously the sooner the better. Um, but for all other programs, aside from nursing, uh, we do operate under rolling admission. And then nursing, we want the we have the application deadline of December 15th for our four-year BSN program. Okay. All right, then. Okay, good. Um, I also noticed that um, when, we, when we talked about the requirements to get in, and um, again, with a lot of um, schools being test optional now, just making sure that test optional is to get in. You still need the ACT or SAT in order to apply for scholarships. Yes, ma'am. At this point in time, um, with college boards still looking like they're going to have SATs and ACT dates in surrounding states or in the future, we're still holding on to that at this point. Um, now, if college board goes away and they say, you know, hey, we're not providing the SATs or ACTs for the class of 2021, well, then, of course, we won't require it for scholarship purposes either. But at this point, we are requiring the SATs or ACTs to receive a merit-based scholarship. Okay. All right. Um, one other question is that what, what happens if a student uh, is just like right a hair or scopes below those requirements? Is there a conditional enrollment, conditional acceptance that you will consider when you're looking at a student like that? Uh, there can be. I mean, it tends to be on a case by case basis. I mean, I know for me um, and, you know, the applications that I review, we review applications also on a rolling basis. Right. So if a student in the first nine weeks of their senior year doesn't meet certain numbers, but then they do the second nine weeks, we can always reissue again a new scholarship letter or reissue a new acceptance letter or whatever the case may be. So we would just continue to ask the students to, you know, keep grinding if you would, you know, keep putting in the work and then just reach out to us. Um, my mother is famous for the saying, a closed mouth doesn't get fed, right? So if a student doesn't speak up when they have issues or when they need assistance, I won't know, right? So I would just ask the students, you know, to continue to, you know, be open-minded and to speak up um, whenever they, you know, if they ever need anything. Okay. Um, Jared, one of the things that we know is that 100% of the students who apply to college don't, don't necessarily get in. Could you tell me what is your um, freshman admissions rate? Yes, ma'am. Um, so we are relatively high um, when it comes to the admissions as a whole. Um, of course, since there are some programs that we look a little closer into, you know, um, you know, how did you do in your sciences if you're going to pursue a science-related field? How did, you know, how nursing numbers and all that? 
um, typically around 90% um, of the students um, who apply with a completed application um, get admitted. Um, we do admit a number of students. Um, but again, it's, it's, it really depends on the program, you know, when it comes to which ones mainly get denied or you know, whatever the case may be. Okay, all right then. Um, conversely, this is what students get in. We know getting in is like the key thing, but staying in is definitely important. So can you tell me what your freshman retention rate is? Yes, ma'am. Our uh, year one to year two retention rate is about 75%. Um, so 74.66 um, from year one to year two. Um, we also do have a number of plans and things in place um, to continue to grow that number um, from student success coaches who every, you know, incoming freshman student is assigned to, to academic advisors, you know, which is a professor in your area of study who assist you um, as you work through your four-year journey. So we have a number of other things in place as well. Um, but to continue to try to increase that number as time you know, goes along. Okay, all right. Um, um, one other thing is that, and um, we talked about the study abroad program that you have, okay. and um, I know that it is extensive. Can you tell us a couple of the different areas that are different than you know, what we discussed? Um, with the study abroad program and how extensive, how extensive or expansive is that program? Yeah, great question. Um, so for a lot of our students, I mean, to like, pick a specific area, a lot of our students um, end up in Europe. It's, it's just, we have a lot of different affiliation schools over there. Um, and a number of them do a, like a semester, um, a semester's time study abroad. Um, typically they take gen eds while they're over there. Um, so these are general education courses, uh, courses that every student has to take to make you like well-rounded throughout your four-year journey. Um, you know, they'll take those classes over there and then they'll come back. They're still a Clare University student, um, which is why we, you know, do have scholarship assistance and things like that. Um, but we also offer smaller study abroad programs uh, in like a two-week kind of window. Recently, we had students go to Costa Rica for a study abroad experience. Our College of Business does very well with taking students um, to numerous places throughout the world, throughout the globe, um, to study abroad as well. Okay. Um, I think that that was like the majority of the, of the questions that I have, and I'm also running out of time too. Okay. okay. So um, I see that we still have your, um, the, the contact information. So is there one more thing that you wanted to mention to our students and parents? Um, I'm going to let you have the last word here. Um, okay. Reiterate your contact information that you that you have for them. Yeah, so um, I guess the one other thing that I didn't mention is we do have um, a few outcome slides just to kind of show you um, different things about Clarion, uh, things to keep in mind uh, when it comes to the different services we offer, different programs, um, what the classes look like, um, and then last but not least, um, one other slide of accolades when it comes to our education program um, and the rankings um, that we've received from you know, various individuals. So um, I would just keep those two slides in mind and we'll say that's that. Uh, once again, thank you Infinite Scholars for having me. Um, I definitely appreciated uh, you know, working with you guys to set this up and you know, I hope to hear from you all soon.